Hey everybody, it's Dad the Red, and welcome back to Highway Blossoms. Right than last we left off, we suffered a bit of a, an unfortunate defeat of sorts. No, we were unable to find the next piece of the treasure. This has left the main characters, and of course, a bit of um slumpy feeling. That slump isn't the right word, that's kind of a di I'm not even just, I'm just... Anyway. Alright, I already read this last episode, so I'm just going to move on. What? Uh, how old are you? Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. I forgot about that specific detail. We learned, I think, she just graduated from high school, I believe. Um, yeah, that's, that's a very good question. How old is Marina here? Putting her hands on her hips, Marina puffs out her cheeks and looks offended. Oh, don't you fucking dare. Okay, this, this is a very solid question considering your, well, the information you just laid on us. I'll have you know, it's very rude to ask a lady her age. She deflates. But I'm 18. Why? Oh, well. Actually, isn't that normal? I was actually a bit young when I graduated high school. I was a year younger than everyone else in my class. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I let myself fall back again. You're really, uh, fucking everyone else in my class was 18 when I graduated. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I was a year behind. I was put to school a year fucking early. That's. Mm -hmm. Don't regret it though, because I wouldn't have met the people I met. I'm not going to fucking go about my personal fucking life. No one wants to hear that shit. I was afraid you were going to be underage and then I'd get arrested for kidnapping or something. No way. And besides, I told you my parents were fine with it. Well, accepted it. What about you? How old are you? Just a year older. Wait, you're only 19? They figured she wasn't much older than that to begin with. Now it's her turn to be shocked. How old did you think I was? That's the end of the good question. I'm eager to see the answer. Marina bur busts up laughing. I'm actually a little embarrassed. I look away, blowing my hair from my face. <sighs> that was in the wrong direction. Just kidding, just kidding. I figured you were like my age or a bit older. Two years at the most. I look at her, staring at the wall. Oh, I don't look at her. I was to say, wait, that sounds strange. Oh, because I missed a fucking word. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, come on, don't be mad. I was just playing. All of a sudden, she sounds seriously regretful. I want to mess with her, but the puppy dog look she gives me, uh, she gives me over her shoulder is too hard to resist. <laughs> Sorry, what? My hair must be getting bad in my old age. <laughs> She throws a pillow at me from the bed beside her, and I deflect it with my arm. Good save, Granny. Oh, pfft, I think that's her. Now she leans back, too, staring up at the ceiling. Her hair spreads across my leg. I don't move it. No. Then, I realize that all the worry and nervousness we had about our arches, arches, pfft, arch, arches, you dumbass, not a Greek word. Maybe that'd be archies or something. Arches is gone. Somewhere on the line, we just forgot about it. Huh. Yeah, the wonders of just basic communication, I guess, just provides a bit of a distraction. I don't know when we reach the point in our relationship where we can be comfortable being this close to each other, but I'm glad that we have. Maybe, just maybe, I'm enjoying the closeness a little too much. Too much? Uh, it's not really a good way to be looking at it. You need to be a little more open than that. It's been a long time since I've dated someone. Gramps' health made having a girlfriend impossible. It wasn't time for anyone else. Hell, I hardly had time for myself. Not that I cared. I'd do it all over again. Still, it's nice. Having something to talk to, so it's not just me and my thoughts. Yeah, when you're alone with yourself, there's some really awful shit can come out of that, really. It's best to have someone else to kind of... It's it, it just healthy. It provides a bit of, um, I guess, a, a source of relief, in a sense. You have someone you can confide in, someone who can share a little bit of that extra stress, you know? it's Plus, just being able to communicate with a human being in general, that, that, that's a good thing. Just as I'm about to sell into the mood, she sits up and stretches. Of course. I'm pretty sleepy. Are you, are you going to bed soon? Nah, I took a nap earlier, so I'm good. 
It's all of yours to Moab, so I'll drive through tonight. Moab, huh? Well, yeah. Something wrong? No, I was just kind of wondering. She trails off. Mm. Wondering? Um, how far away is the Grand Canyon? <laughs> uh, this shit again, huh? She's just a little fucking nervous, too. From here? I don't know, three or four hours? But it's in the total opposite direction that we're going. Oh. Okay. This is gonna end with the going to the Grand Canyon, isn't it? It fucking is, isn't it? The Chris Vaughn look on her face should be illegal. <laughs> it's, 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 it's like a fucking weapon of mass destruction just right to the heart. Oh, no. I mm, must help. Sorry, I should have looked at the map before I asked. Smiling, she turns her heads for bed. Disappointment clinged her like perfume. Night, Amber. Leaning against my pillows, I watch as she slowly treads off to the back. Come on now, I'm not that heartless. Wait a sec. Ooh. Music. She freezes mid-step. I guess since I was going to drive on that anyway, we can make a detour. A pretty big detour, too. So don't blame me if all the treasure's gone by the time we're done. Oh, that's sweet. Well, I was actually wrong. It wasn't at the end of the fucking game. It was going to be right now. She turns around, hope springing in her face now. But I guess it is like a requirement that we leave to the Grand Canyon when you're sightseeing in Arizona. So that's what we'll do. You got a lot of vacations to make up for. <laughs> she just zip right back in. All the tiredness and disappointment vanishes in an instant. Like a bird taking flight, she hurries back over to where I'm just standing up. A trademark Marina crash tackle hug knocks me out of my butt in bed again. I pat her on the back a couple of times before she rises. Have I ever told you you're the best? <laughs> Probably. But don't you forget it. Yeah. I couldn't have tried. Goof. I poke her in the bell as, as I make my, my way to the front again. Trying to fill up as few words as possible now. Oh, shit. Back. Grab me the energy drink from the fridge, will you? Yeah, you'll need that shit. When she sits down in the passenger seat, she has two cans of the energy drink. Thought you were going to bed. Nah, she's sitting for this shit and gonna keep you company. I guess this is... Well, probably A, excited at this point. B, I'm guessing just to keep you some company, because, I mean... Yeah, well, that's probably what I'd fucking do. It's like, I'm gonna go out of your way for me. I'll do something. I guess keep you company if you'd be driving all fucking night. No way, I'm too excited now. I'll keep you company to drive. Ding and ding. Plus, it's only 8 o'clock, isn't it? Yeah, but you've been doing some climbing. A little bit. Beats me. Sounds right. I pop open the tab of my drink and take a long draught. Tastes awful. Ugh. But it wakes me up like nothing else. I guess the maker's cut out sweeteners and nice flavors more stimulants. <laughs> the drink it faster, I'll hold my breath to hide the taste and chug. Yeah. You know. Mm. Gasp me, I crumple the energy, the empty can and toss into a trash bag. Marina, on the other hand, sips it daintily, wincing each time. <laughs> a little bit of pain, just a bit of mm, sting. Ugh. People seriously drink this stuff? Well, they consume it. Somehow. It works, though. It's pretty much the strongest stuff you can get without a prescription. And be careful of that shit. Caffeine actually is lethal in high doses. Mind you, much higher than you ever get in pretty much any kind of consumable drink or anything. But yeah, it, it, it can actually be toxic once you hit a certain point. After taking another step, Marina retches and sticks her tongue out. She reminds me of a cat with fur stuck on his tongue. <laughs> or hell, I mean, just... A, a cat, if you interrupt it while it's grooming itself, it just looks up and goes... <laughs> it's, it's fucking adorable. She sets the can in the cup holder beside me. Do you want mine? I can't drink this. I'd have a heart attack if I drank two. Just leave it, I'll drink it tomorrow. Because the only way to improve an awful energy drink, energy drink is to let it warm and flat. Oh, get warm and flat, yeah. Mm. That's wonderful. It adds a nice bouquet to it. As I start the RV, Marina says something, but it's soft enough that I can't hear her over the engine revving. What was that? Oh, Lydia, you're failing on me again. <laughs> Smiling, she shakes her head. I was just saying thanks again. Don't thank me yet. I could fall asleep while we're at the wheel and kill us both. <laughs> 
At least I die happy. No, that's kind of a no. Not it's that's conflicting. N no, though, not just that. For taking me with you and doing the red treasure hunt and everything. You must be super tired. You're saying all sorts of weird stuff now. You know you're gonna flabbergasted over here. I mean it. No, it's kind of random. I'm just really happy I met you. After a moment of blushing, I laugh a little under my breath. <laughs> uh, yeah, me too. I prevented any more cheesy conversation by carefully pulling out of the parking lot and back into the, onto the exit road. I'm definitely glad the moon is enjoying herself. I'm having fun too, but talking about this sort of thing, it makes me feel all squirmy inside. Oh, it's the love bill. Sorry. I like I don't match up to what Marina thinks of me. Pushing those thoughts out of my head, I focus on the road. A little self-deprecation there, yeah. We have to keep our eyes peeled for animals out there. Out here. There are lots of stray dogs as part of the state, and dozens of deer and antelope just waiting to race cars. Oh, shit. Look, like driving at night in this, and you just seeing, uh, they're in like really heavily wooded areas, especially. And you just see, like, dozens of pa like, a little, I don't want to say herds. It's just, you know, a, a little cluster of, you know, just a handful of deer here and there. And you just, when you see those glowing eyes and they look up and you make out the, the, the silhouettes, you're like, oh shit, don't run in front of the car, don't run in front of the car, don't run in front of the car. Because it really is, it's that heart attack moment. It's absolutely terrifying. The road, the road is devoid of other vehicles, though. And since I know how, to, how the exit to take, more or less, we should make pretty good time. Once we get back onto the highway, Marina hoists the bucket of tapes onto her lap. And her do some treasure hunting her own. What do you want to listen to? Hmm. Your voice. No. I glance between the road and the bend, scanning both. Oop. I settle on an album that I haven't heard, had the heart to listen to in a while. But it feels that tonight is the right time. I fish out the tape and slide it at the player. As the first chords start up, I watch Marina's face for a reaction. It won't have the same sentimental value to her, I know, but it's an emotional album in general. Lots of the dynamics, the music, and simple but heartfelt songwriting. Graham used to play, play along, but he said he couldn't quite capture the feeling himself. As I'd hoped, Moon is quiet, which means that she's listening. Her cheek is pressed up against the window again. I bet I'll be on any bumps, just pop. Ooh, that might have been a bit loud. Sorry. Her reflection, barely visible, looks, to, looks wistful. Good. For the second time today, a growing pressure starts in my eyes. I paw at them and the motion catches Mina's attention. You sure you're not too tired? Oh yeah, I was just a little edgy. Yeah, they're just a little... Sorry, just a little out of it today. Damn it. My voice shakes as I speak, but if she notices, she doesn't say anything. This album was another, Grant, one, another one of Grant's favorites, and there's a reason I haven't listened to it since he passed. Turning it on might have been a mistake. We may go off the road if I end up crying, or I might just die of embarrassment. Aww. I sniff a couple of times to keep myself under control. Damn allergies. Oh, that's going to draw attention to it. If it really was allergies, you wouldn't fucking saying anything about it. You, you just be, ah, oh, it's shit, it's fucking hard. It's, it's, it's an overcompensation thing. You know, you, when you're so worried about making sure people don't notice it, you're going to inadvertently draw attention to it through the act of trying to not let them draw, draw uh, notice it, you know? I don't know she hears me. I'm kind of tempted to turn it off and play something else. But I want me to hear it. It don't mean anything special to her, I'm sure. I want to see what she thinks. To see if maybe Gramps and I were crazy, or if there was more to the music than the man playing it. He was a guitarist and songwriter who, by the name of June, died a few years ago. Fighting back the nostalgia and the, bubbly, bu the bubbling feelings of how much I miss Gramps' heart, I'm able to hold on, though, and keep from breaking down. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes the best way to get over it. I mean, Giving yourself time, that kind of that kind of thing, yeah, it, it is necessary. You can't just rush into something that you know is gonna hurt. But eventually, it is good because the more you avoid it, the harder the the, the, the more pain is gonna be brought up just by thinking about it and and 
telling yourself you don't want to listen to it or or or, or, or you do whatever it is that's going to bring up those memories you know and sometimes it's better to just rip the bandit off after you prepped yourself you know, accordingly to your personal um levels of pain tolerance as you might say or as no one might say 45 minutes later when the tape ends I'm going to hit the play button again and start it over I'd say it was worth it <laughs> I let it play on for hours long after the moon is falling, falling asleep beside me ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. that's actually funny perfect timing ah, I'll call the episode here thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time